Hello everybody and welcome to this, the first um, first part of a two-parter on um, how binary works. Um, so, um, if you want, um, in this in this video we're going to have a quick look at what binary is um, and how computers use it to manipulate, um, and how computers manipulate binary um, and use it to change char um, electrical charges. Um, as you can see we're in Minecraft. Um, and that is because um, Minecraft um, has one of the best um, visual ways of representing what we're talking about in the form of um, redstone, that's what it's called. So, first of all, what is binary? Oh, rather, how, does, um, how do computers communicate? Computers communicate by using electrical charges, which can either be on or off. Um, Similarly, um, yeah, the best way to represent these on and off values is to use um, binary. And the by part of binary means that there are only two digits in um, the counting system, which is one and zero. So, um, whereas in our everyday counting, something called denary, there are 10 possible um, values. So that's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <sighs> okay. So then, moving on quickly. Over here we have um, um, over here we have a demonstration of how the counting system works. So, in deanery, the right rightmost digit um, in a number um, goes up in ones. The second most goes up in twos. Third goes up in hundreds, and so on. At this rate here, um, ten to the power of n minus one. However, in binary, because there are only two possible values, um, they go up as, as such, so the first digit is 1, but the two second value is 2, and it goes up in 2s, 3rd in 4s, 4th in 8th, 8th, and so on, at a rate of 2 to the power of n. So this means that um, the 10th digit in, um, in a deanery number um, goes up in this massive long number, which I can't actually work out what the value is um, but the tenth however the tenth digit in um, a binary number shows how many 1024s there are so the numbers are built pretty much the same way but slightly different in terms of what each of the values are a couple of examples here so the binary number 101 basically means there are one is there is one lot of four zero lots of two and one lot of one in the number so 4 plus 0 plus 1 makes 5. Um, in deanery, that uh, we represent this possibly as 0, 0, 5, which is saying that there is um, 0 lots of 100, 0 lots of 10, but 1 lots of 5, so that, um, or rather 5 lots of 1, meaning that um, 0 plus 0 plus 5 making 5. Um, second example I've got here is um, the binary number 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 which is saying that there is um, 1 lot of 16, 1 lot of 8, 1 lot of 4, 1 lot of 2, and 1 lot of 1, all of which add together to make 31. Um, this um, reason why we prefer to use um, deanery in the real world is because, as you can see, it's a lot simpler, because it says, um, as you can see here, it says there is 3 lots of 10, and then 1 lot of 1, which add, lot, add together to make 31. One final example here, we've got 10001, which means there's one lot of 16, and then one lot of 1, which add together to make 17, um, and here's how it will be done in deanery, so there is 0 lots of 100, one lot of 10, and one lot of um, 7, making 17. So now that we know how um, binary works and how it counts, um, one of the Biggest pro um, one of the biggest questions is how do computers actually manipulate these values? Well, it's actually very simple. They use something called logic gates, and there are three main logic gates, and those are NOT, AND, and OR gates. Um, the NOT gate takes an input and it reverses it. So as you can see, the input of this is zero or off, um, but the output is one or on so if i then turn on this switch the light goes off and vice versa onto the and gate 
the AND gate takes two values and it will only produce a one value if both of these values are on. So for example, if I turn this one on its own, light doesn't turn on, this one on its own doesn't turn on, but both at the same time and the light turns on. Finally, we have the OR gate, which again takes two, um, two values, however it can take more, and it takes the value um, takes the value and if either of these values are on so is the output so as you can see if I turn one on at a time they both turn on equally if I turn both on at the same time they produce a one so then thank you for um, um, so then also these can be combined together so for example the most common variants are a NAND gate or a NOR gate which basically puts a NOT gate immediately after an, an AND gate or a OR gate to create a NAND gate or an OR NOR gate. A NAND gate will only produce a zero when both of the, both of the inputs are on and a NOR gate will only produce a one when um, neither of these inputs are on. So then that concludes this first part of the, um, of this, um, I don't know, tutorial on how binary works. If you're interested in how these logic gates work together to create um, functions within a computer, head, um, check out my check out the second video. If you enjoyed this video, um, make sure um, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you really enjoyed it or can think of somebody who really would, share to your heart's content.